Hello everyone, this is how the DJI Osmo Action 3 looks as a YouTube Studio camera. Here's a quick look at what's going on behind the scenes to achieve this look. In this video I'll show you the settings and equipment I used to achieve this look with the Osmo Action 3, as well as compare it to the GoPro Hero 11 to see which one is a better YouTube Studio camera. Starting with the gear, the first item is the Boya BYK4 USB-C microphone adapter, which allows me to connect an external microphone to the Osmo Action 3 with ease. I really don't understand why GoPro doesn't take the same approach because I hate using the GoPro media mode just so I can connect an external microphone. Anyhow, the microphone is the Rode VideoMic Go 2. It's been boomed slightly out of frame to bring it closer to me for better sound quality. I'm using three lights in this shot for lighting. My killer, the Ambitful EF100 with the Ambitful 60 by 90 centimeter softbox is on the left, slightly above me pointing downwards. This light is set to approximately 45% brightness so that I can reduce the ISO on the Osmo Action 3 to achieve the least amount of noise in the image. The second light is the Viltrox Ninja 10. This light is set to approximately 15% brightness and it acts as a rim light in the shot helping to separate me from the background. Finally, the third light is the Wheelight K21 RGB light stick which is set to 100% brightness and aids in illuminating the background on the left side. Let's get into the settings now. The resolution and frame rate are set to 4K 25p. Field of view is set to standard D-Warp. I think it's the best one to use when shooting indoors. The wide field of view has too much distortion in the corners of the image. Rocksteady is disabled because the camera sits on a tripod. Shutter speed is set to 1 over 50 to get the most exposure without affecting motion blur in the image. White balance is set to 5500 Kelvin because my key light has the same color temperature. The ISO has been set to 400, which may seem excessive to you, but it was my only option to get proper exposure in this shot. Finally, the color is set to this cine like because I enjoy color grading my footage. And the microphone gain is set to zero because it's very close to me. Thank you DJI for allowing us to adjust the microphone gain in camera. Now let's compare the DJI Osmo Action 3 to the GoPro Hero 11 when used as a YouTube studio camera. I'm going to show you the GoPro settings somewhere on the screen. Okay, so this is how the GoPro Hero 11 Black looks like as a YouTube studio camera compared to the DJI Osmo Action 3. I'm shooting in linear field of view with the GoPro Hero 11 compared to standard on the Action 3. And as you can see, the field of view is much wider on the Action 3 compared to the GoPro Hero 11 when using the linear field of view. As for image quality, I think both cameras look fantastic, but I have to give the edge to the GoPro Hero 11. The image is sharper, has more dynamic range, and it just looks better overall than the DJI Osmo Action 3. However, the image quality on the Action 3 is fantastic for the price. It's just that when compared to the GoPro Hero 11, the Hero 11 wins hands down. Another advantage of the GoPro Hero 11 is the minimum focus distance. Many people have issues with the focus on the DJI Osmo Action 3. The minimum focus distance number is 30 centimeters on the Action 3, but in reality, from my findings, it's about 38 centimeters. So right now I'm about 40 centimeters away from the camera and I think I'm totally in focus. I don't have any issues with my Osmo Action 3. I think my camera is totally fine. And I'm about 45 centimeters away from the GoPro Hero 11. And if I'm going to come closer to the cameras, you'll see that I'm gonna get out of focus with the Action 3, whereas with the GoPro, I'm gonna stay in focus. So now I'm about, I would say like 20, let me see. Yeah, this is about 25 centimeters away from the Action 3 and also 25 centimeters away from the GoPro Hero 11. And probably on this camera, I'm out of focus and with the GoPro Hero 11, I'm still in focus. I think the minimum focus distance on the GoPro is 20 centimeters and with this camera it's about 40 centimeters, 38 centimeters, something like that. So if you want to get really close to the camera when shooting in a studio environment, the GoPro wins hands down and also the image quality is better on the GoPro. Finally, I would like to show you what I did in Final Cut Pro to achieve this look with the Osmo Action 3. First, I added contrast to the image using the color board and color curves. Because the image was too bright for my taste, I reduced the shadows, mid-tones and highlights. Then I slightly increased the saturation in the mid-tones to make my face look more alive. After that, I used the hue versus saturation curves to correct the skin tones. My skin was a little green out of camera, so I pushed it slightly towards red. However, I must point out that the colors on the DJ Osmo Action 3 out of camera are fantastic, much better than on the GoPro Hero 11. 
Finally, to stylize the image, I've applied a quick teal and orange grade by masking out my skin tones and pushing everything in the background towards teal. So is the DJI Osmo Action 3 a viable YouTube studio camera? I believe it is, but only if you have very powerful lights. However, the same thing is true for the GoPro Hero 11. If I had to choose only one camera for a studio environment though, I would choose the GoPro Hero 11 because the image quality is more detailed. I like the colors and how simple it is to connect a microphone to the DJI Osmo Action 3. However, the image quality is far superior on the GoPro Hero 11, which is more important to me. Thank you for watching.